is new for us this year. This is um, uh, a certified commercial kitchen that we built. We got the KSU Small Farmer Grant um, back in January, I believe, um, to do this project. Um, this is my garage. Um, behind the filmer there is a garage door. So we basically split our garage in half. We built this wall, put in the ceiling part, um, and um, plumbed everything electrical um, to kind of uh, increase our value added. I was already doing value added products under the home based microprocessor and I still have that um, certification but we do a lot of pickles, um, cucumbers, okra, peppers, um, and then jams and then now we're able to do a lot more products. Um, we do like a salsa fresca that we sell um, at farmers markets and in our farm store. Um, and then over the winter, I really hope to like hone in some new products, you know, using everything from the farm. Um, it's just a great way to um, not let things go to waste and then just people really like that kind of stuff. Um, the main parts of having a commercial kitchen is just being, having all your specs right. Uh, the sinks, we have three different sinks for this space. Uh, there's a three bay sink, hand washing sink, and a mop sink. Um, that's all required. Um, your walls and your ceilings have to be able to be all washed. Um, the stainless steel is great. Um, and then, you know, you have it inspected and, you know, there's a fee and everything, but um, it really opens up what we're able to make. Um, since we do a lot of canning, this is what I use for my canning pot. Um, it's off of 220, and there is a heating element in the bottom of this pot. Um, but I'm able to fit 32 jars in there at once, um, to can at once, and that's great. This just increases the efficiency. Um, and not to mention just having a dedicated workspace, you know, to do the things instead of in your own kitchen. It's really great.